Good morning, MBHS. I'm John Pellegrino. And I'm Brandon Stimson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Brandon, how was the trip over the Yale British Art Museum? It was a great learning experience for me. There was so much to check out that I wish I could have stayed longer. Morgan was lucky enough to cover the trip. Trips. How was yours at TVES? I had tons of fun on the Sakura stream team. We set up a fantastic day for the students in light of Recross America. Here's what went on. With technology like smartphones and tablets, young people have a hard time catching up on their reading. But at TVES, they encourage students not to only read books, but to have a fun time doing it. On March 2nd, Mr. Corey's Dream Team took a trip to TVES for the annual Read Across America event. <laughs> Starting with an assembly put on by students, everyone attending took the reader's oath. Of feeding my brain, of feeding my brain. What, it means every day. what it means every day. With guests like Cat in the Hat, Yes, it's me, I'm the Cat in the Hat, <laughs> there's no doubt about that. And Rocky the School mascot, the 3rd, 4th, and 5th graders were all excited for their fun-filled day. After the assembly, Reading Ambassadors went to the classrooms and had activities waiting for their kids. So I went to Totoka Valley for Read Across America and worked with the different classes. We were trying to teach them about learning disabilities that their classmates might have by doing a variety of different activities to try to get them to sympathize with their classmates. So for Read Across America, I was at Totoka Valley and our theme over there was based on diversity. Uh, we based it off of the book Fish in a Tree and it really taught the kids about diversity and it taught the kids what it's like to have a learning disability and to see what other people's shoes, what it might be like. At the Tucket Valley, I helped in my classroom. We did fun activities that has to do with Read Across America. We did an activity to represent what a deaf person will be going through when you have a conversation with them. I enjoyed seeing the kids smile when we all came to work with them and how everyone was interacting together as a whole. I enjoy giving back to the community and knowing that I can have an impact on the children there. I love to see the smile on the kids' faces and see them learn each day and how they grow. It's really fun to help the kids understand the importance of their education and to make it fun for them. So this day was a celebration, but it was also um, academic based as well. So it was cool to see them enjoy what they're learning. After having a great time with my fellow students and their kids, now I'm inspired to catch up on some reading. I'm John Pellegrino, reporting for Tiber News. You know what I don't miss, John? Let me guess, SATs? Absolutely, but for juniors, it's very important to prepare for. Charles has the insight on how they'll handle their time. 
And this past week, students were getting ready for the biggest test of their lives. Let's go see how they got prepared for it. SATs are very important in a student's high school career so they can continue their academics in college to pursue their dream jobs. You know, once in a while, I'll open up a couple binders, go in my backpack, make some flashcards, you know, everything helps. Um, people say I'm not ready for the SAT, but really, I'm an AC thing, because SATs aren't ready for me. Well, I took the PSAT and that went pretty well, so now I'm just doing some like extra help with math and the sheets and the math classes and stuff in English. And now uh, I think I'm going to get a tutor, but I'm going to definitely take the SAT multiple times just to get the best grade because, you know, we all want to get into the best college. So in my Algebra 2 class, um, we've been doing a lot of practice problems of um, Algebra 1 skills and stuff that they did a long time ago to try and refresh their memory of, of some of the stuff that is on the test. Um, also, I teach the math lab class, which is really centered around SAT prep and strategies and working through those skills a little more extensively. Well, for our juniors this year in Algebra 2, most of them are in Algebra 2, we've been uh, taking basic questions from the SAT and giving those to the students for homework and then reviewing them in class. And we've been organizing them in topics. So we have been doing that for the last couple of months, uh, every week. We also have been running an after school program with Mr. Rapcourt in his room every Thursday after school for at least an hour where students uh, can go over topics and ask questions about those topics and also test taking strategies are discussed. I hope all of you did very well in your SATs this year and what's the best score for you. For t Road News, I'm Charles Walcott. Congrats on accepted the Emerson, Brandon. You have an idea what you want to study for? Definitely communications. That's great. It's cool to know what career path you want to go on this early. But for others, they might be undecided on what they want to do later in life. That's why our school holds the annual career fair. Connor was on the scene. If you're looking for a future field of work, then the gym on March 2nd was the place to be. The school held a career fair that contained many local businesses and bigger corporations. The booths ranged from chef to social worker to any branch of our military. <laughs> Students were enlightened on many different and unique jobs. Here are some of the professionals talking about their field of work. You know, you get all walks of life, different ethnicities, and it's fun to learn like from all those different people. With engineering, it's very varied as far as the variety of fields you can get into. So I think if you pick engineering as a career, uh, you really have limitless uh, options. So this is nice because I have a physical object I give to my customer. Sometimes they cry, sometimes they laugh. So it feels good at the end of the day to be proud of your work and to make other people happy at the same time. There's a lot of careers to choose from, so if you don't know what you want to do, then it's a good selection. My favorite booth was Jordan Regan's mom's booth because she's a social worker, which means that she gives good candies. My favorite booth was the physical therapy booth because um, they explained a little bit to me about the subject, which is going to help me with my capstone. Hopefully this event helped a lot of kids find a future job to enjoy. For T-Bird News, I'm Connor Pollock. That's it for this month's roundup of the news. Don't forget that tickets for this year's edition of Footloose are on sale in the cafeteria during all lunch waves. Don't forget to come out April 5th, 6th, and 7th. I'm Brandon Stimson. And I'm John Pellegrino. Have a happy Easter, North Brantford. Now I gotta cut loose, foot loose. Come on.